think we'll download Wine Country, because why not? This is a one hour, 43 minute film. And it's downloaded. Okay, that happened so fast, I wasn't even looking. I'm gonna do it again. All right, so here I am back in Chicago, the scene of the crime. I'm here to test the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G on Verizon's 5G network. Feels a little bit like deja vu because I was here six weeks ago to test another phone, the Moto Z3, with the attachable Moto Mod, and those tests didn't go so well, so we're trying it again. But there are a couple things that are gonna be different about this test. First of all, it's a completely different phone. Second, Samsung and Verizon have teamed up to make it really clear what we should and shouldn't expect. So we know we're getting 5G download speeds and 4G upload speeds. That's just because the network isn't ready yet. Baby steps. The third change is to the network itself. Verizon hasn't expanded coverage, so we don't get to go everywhere we want, but it should be faster at the sites where we are. Okay, so let's go speed test this phone. Here it is. This is the Galaxy S10 5G testing phone that Samsung has brought us to try out. They've set up the device already, so it has some accounts on it, including speedtest.net, also a Google account, a Netflix account, and a Prime Video account. So we'll definitely see what happens when we download some videos. But first, speeds. Our first speed test is gonna be inside the Verizon store because there's a node right over there. Rule of thumb is to be within 100 to 300 feet, but let's see how fast we can get. All right, first test, here we go. So you may have noticed that uh, there was some flickering of the logo above. Uh, Verizon tells us that you're really only supposed to see this 5G logo when you're actually connected to the network. So if you see it bounce back and forth between 4G and 5G, I think that's a little bit alarming, but apparently that is the way it is designed. I mean, this is respectable so far, but it's definitely not the peak that I've seen. That's pretty good though. All right, we're ready for test two. There's the node over there. We're right within the line of sight, so let's do it. Ah, there we go. Go, 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 go. This is pretty good, pretty promising. Oh, you can do it, all right. So we broke one gigabit. That's fast. Okay, so those testing speeds were awesome. I think it's time to try a real world test. We're gonna download some video and time it. All right, we've got the S10 5G on the left. I'm gonna see how long it takes to download season two of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel in 4K. All right, so this is pretty impressive because this is about 10 hours, give or take, of video, 4K video, downloaded in under five minutes. Now we're gonna reverse it and see how long it takes to download it over 4G. One, two, three. So same thing, 4K video, season two. This is already gonna take a while. So over 5G, we downloaded two episodes in one minute. This is gonna be like one episode in maybe over three minutes. That last little bit is always the hardest, isn't it? We've gotta move on to other 5G testing sites, but it is telling that it took just about as long to download one episode of the season in 4G as it took to download the entire season in 5G. So that's your real world test right there. Node, me, test number three. Okay, well this is interesting because it says we're on 5G, but this is a 4G result, and we just popped out into 4G. So, it's not perfect. All right, the rain is starting to fall. We've got this busy street right over here. The node is right over there. So, let's get into test number four. It's raining. It's really, really raining. And as much as I'd like to be in a cafe right now drinking something warm, we've got testing to do. Wish me luck. All right, so I'm just gonna download PUBG Mobile, which is a huge file. Just wanna see how fast it is. 
Last time I tried this, it took six minutes, so we could be here for a while. So this is a pretty huge file. It's almost two gigabytes, and it downloaded and installed completely in under two and a half minutes, and I'm pretty impressed. Funny story, I had dinner at the restaurant across the street last night and it was really good, but if I had looked up, I would have noticed a node right up there. So this is where we're gonna do our next test. I think we'll download Wine Country, because why not? This is a one hour, 43 minute film. And it's downloaded. Okay, that happened so fast, I wasn't even looking. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> And go. Under 11 seconds to download an almost two hour movie. It's pretty fast. And now let's see what happens on the 4G phone. You know, I just don't see the download even progressing. Well, this movie isn't even downloading and it's been almost two minutes, so I guess we've proven our point. I could keep speed testing this phone all day, especially because things are going so well and it just stopped raining. However, this is our final stop of the day. We're right next to the Willis Tower, which is a huge monument, lots of tourists around here. So this is definitely the kind of place where you're gonna wanna see 5G. So that was our third test where we actually bypassed one gigabit per second, and that is amazing. These are the speeds that we wanna see. One thing I have to talk about is battery life. At the beginning of the day at 10 a.m., we started with 100%. It's been about four hours, it's 2 p.m. local now, and we're down to 53%. We've been hitting this thing pretty hard. It's no secret that 5G is definitely gonna take a toll on battery, especially as things get going, but over time, there are some improvements that Verizon can make to the software and the network that will help keep the battery levels a little bit higher. All right, let's talk about the phone itself. The S10 5G is a really big, beautiful device. It's got a 6.7 inch display, uh, four cameras on the back and two on the front, including depth sensors and a 4,500 milliamp battery. So this is an expensive premium device. It starts on Verizon for 1300. It's an exclusive for the first month before it opens up to the other major US carriers. So this is gonna be something that you can get. Six weeks ago, I would have said, don't even think about it. You know, the networks aren't there yet. The phones aren't there yet. They're too expensive. Let's wait and see. But now after having such a great day, I can see the 5G future. I'm much more excited about it. I think if you want to be on the cutting edge and money is no problem and you're raring to go and you want to have that phone ready, this is something to consider. For the vast majority of the population, probably myself included, I would say let's wait until the end of 2019 and let's see where we are. Qualcomm has come out with a new chip uh, that's going to be coming into phones at around that time. It might make the phones thinner, could make them a little cheaper, we don't know, but there will definitely be more options. Um, so I think wait until the networks are built up, but definitely start getting excited.